Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to another tutorial. Today, I'm really excited because this is going to be my first Daz and Blender tutorial. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take a Genesis 8 character, load it into Blender, and then I want to show you how to morph your character and we're just gonna morph it into like a troll or a goblin, kind of something like that, just something really simple. And then we're gonna put it back into Daz Studio. Now to do this, I am using Daz Studio 4.22, the current version of Daz Studio. And I'm also gonna be using the current version of Blender, which is Blender 3.64 and you may see some other tutorials out there that show you this same thing, but I haven't seen one that uses the up-to-date software. So I'm pretty excited. All right, now, we're not gonna be using Milica today because she has the day off, and I don't wanna move her into Blender using this tutorial. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a base character. So I'm gonna go to my content library and I am going to go to my Daz Essentials and I just happen to have it kind of saved here under characters, my Genesis 8 Starter Essentials. And I'm gonna just scroll down until I get my base Genesis 8 character and it's right here. So I'm gonna click on that. We're gonna load a brand new Genesis 8 figure and then we just have to do a few manipulations with it. Okay, so I have my Genesis 8 figure selected. I just put her into smooth shaded so that YouTube would be happy because she won't be naked. But um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide her eyelashes because Blender doesn't like Genesis 8 eyelashes. I guess it does some goofy things. Other tutorials have told me not to import eyelashes into Blender, so we're gonna hide those. We're also going to go Genesis 8 selected, go to the parameters tab, and under general, we're just gonna scroll down and change the resolution level from high to base. Okay, once I have that, I'm going to come up to file and we're gonna to go to export. Now, when I do this, I am going to save our character as an OBJ. So I'm just gonna type in Genesis 8 female and I'm gonna save this into a folder that I created, which makes life a whole lot easier. So I just um, created a folder called Blender Morphs and I'm gonna save our figure into that. Now, when I hit save, we're gonna get this option box and we have to do a, a couple of things. The first thing that we have to do is we have to go to custom, select Daz Studio, and then change our percent to 1%, all right? Once we do that, we can hit accept and now our character is ready to go into Blender. So now I'm going to just open up Blender. And once I get Blender open, I'm gonna delete my stupid cube because every time you open Blender, they give you that cube. So I've deleted the primitive box. And then I'm gonna just go to File, Import, and I need to be careful because I want to import using what's called Wavefront OBJ Legacy. If I use the Wavefront OBJ, it seems to have mistakes. So go to Legacy, click on that, and then I've just got to find the folder where I put my Genesis 8 figure. So that would be under my bulk renders and then I have this Blender Morphs. So I'm gonna click on that, and then you can see I've got my Genesis 8 Female OBJ. So I'm gonna select that. Then I'm gonna come over to Geometry, and I'm gonna select this Keep Vert Order, and then I'm gonna select Polygroups. 
Once I do that, I'm gonna hit import OBJ. And then my figure is now in Blender, so I can zoom in. It's kind of weird, um, with my mouse scroll, Blender seems backwards, maybe not. Anyway, I'm going to um, zoom in to my figure. And in Blender, we move around using this XYZ coordinate up in the upper right. And then I can grab this hand and I can move the hand around. So if you are new to Blender, and I have to admit, I'm actually new to Blender too, um, you gotta get used to the controls. So we're going to um, kind of zoom in to our figure's face because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a troll or some kind of creature out of our figure. So I just wanna get her kind of oriented into the right position here. Okay, now I'm gonna, if you look over here, you're gonna see we have a um, tab that's gonna say scene collection and it's gonna show us everything that is in our scene. So with our Genesis 8 female selected, I'm gonna come up to the left side and we're gonna go from object mode to sculpt mode. And when I do that, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of tools that I can use to shape the face or the body, whatever I wanna do. Now, I wanna keep things symmetrical. So for example, if I change something on her left cheek, I want her right cheek to have the same morph. So I'm gonna come up here, you'll notice there's a little butterfly, and I'm gonna hit the X next to the butterfly. So whatever I do, on one side, I will do to the other side. Now there are a lot of tools to choose from. We're gonna keep this simple tonight and I'm gonna probably work with this first one called draw and uh, then there's a draw sharp. But then if I kind of scroll down, there is a smoothing option. And then ones that I like are what's called elastic deform and the snake hook. So we can choose any of these, and you know, just like everything else with 3D art, you're gonna have to play around with stuff. But let's select this first one, the draw, and I'll just kinda show you how this works. We're gonna work her nose, and I'm gonna make her nose look kinda like a witch or a troll nose, something like that. So I can kind of um, reorient her, and then I'm gonna click on this nose, and I'm gonna just start shaping it. So I'm holding my button down and just kind of massaging this nose. So see, I'm making her nose much bigger. You can click off of it, click on it again. Let's make kind of a hump on her nose. And because I have this X up here selected, anything that I do is gonna be symmetrical. So you can see I kind of have a symmetrical look to this nose now. I can do the same thing. Let's kind of make a ridge on her cheek. I love looking at that so you can see that I'm making this ridge on her cheek. I can make a ridge on her forehead. Kind of just make her look evil. I'm gonna go to this smooth tool and see, I can kind of get in here and I can smooth it out if I don't like what I saw or if there's pointiness or something like that. I can smooth it out. I can take this snake hook, choose it. I'm gonna grab her ear. Let's make her ear kind of pointed. And if you notice, because that uh, X is selected, both ears are gonna look the same. I am learning that Blender is awesome for morphing. I knew it was. I've shown you how to do some morphs in Daz Studio, so I thought, hey, it's time to play around with Blender. Now, I'm gonna kinda shape this ear a little bit. And if you notice up here, it says radius is 50 pixels. I can change this down to like 10. 
And when I do that, it's going to shrink the area that I can work with. You notice my circle where my cursor is is much smaller now. So now I can go into the smooth and I can work the ear without uh, taking over a ton of space. So just kind of working different areas a little bit smaller. Same uh, with smoothing maybe around these lumps I created. Okay, that looks pretty good for a demo. So now, once you are satisfied with your morph, we are going to import this back into Daz Studio. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here to File, we're gonna go to Export, and we're gonna come back down to this Wavefront OBJ Legacy. We're gonna click that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my folder that I had my Genesis 8 female, my Blender Morph, and we're gonna name this whatever we want. So I'm gonna name it Troll Morph. All right, the next thing I've gotta do is we've gotta modify this a little bit so that it goes back into Daz Studio smoothly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna select my geometry and we're gonna just get rid of every checked box. I've played around with this and it seems like these do nothing. So we're just gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna hit limit to selection only and then I'm gonna take this scale and we're gonna make it 100% again. Remember we shrunk it down to 1%. So now we're gonna put it back up to 100%. That should allow us to import it back into Daz Studio. So now I'm gonna hit Export OBJ, and we have now exported this out of Blender. So now I'm ready to go back into Daz Studio, and now that I'm back in Daz Studio, we can test our morph. So I'm gonna select this Genesis 8 female character again. Let's kind of zoom in so we can see her face. And once I have her zoomed in, let's go to texture shaded just for fun. So let's select our character. I'm gonna come up to edit, figure. We're gonna to go to Morph Loader Pro. And within Morph Loader Pro, let's make sure we're in Daz Studio, which we are. We're gonna go to this Choose Morph file. I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm gonna go to my folder. And here is my Troll Morph OBJ file that we created in Blender. So I'm gonna double click on that. And then hit Accept. Now, if we did everything correctly, it should say that the morph was created successfully. So it says that. So now we can go hit OK. Now we should have this morph in our character. So go to your parameters tab, scroll down into morphs. And I've noticed this is going to be under morph loader. And if we scroll, it's all the way to the bottom. So now if I move this, oh my gosh, look at that. I've created a troll. All right. Awesome. Okay, so we've created our morph. Now we want to save it so that we can use it on other characters or anywhere else we want to add this morph to a Genesis 8 figure. So to do that, we're going to come up to File, go to Save As, go down to Support Asset, Go down to Morph Assets, click on it, and now we're gonna get a folder. Make sure that you have your vendor name listed, so I'm not from this world. And then I am going to find this troll morph. So we know it's under the Genesis 8 female, so I'm gonna start looking under there. It's in Morphs. And if I scroll down, remember it's in Morph Loader. There's a lot in Morph Loader, but it's at the very bottom. There's our Troll Morph. 
All right. So now we have the troll morph selected. I'm going to hit accept. And now we've saved our morph. Okay, so let's see if this worked. I'm going to load another Genesis 8 female character into the scene. Okay, so I now have a new Genesis 8 character. Let's click on her. Let's go and see if that morph is there. So under morphs, morph loader. And our troll morph is there. Sweet. All right, so I hope this helped you. Um, little changes from some other tutorials that I did see, you know, doing the same kind of thing. So I really hope this gave you some good information. I highly recommend Blender. Start playing with it. I was a doofus and I didn't play with it until just now. I've been working in Daz Studio for 18 years. Never touched Blender. I'm just getting into Blender now. So I got to say I love it. I'm going to keep working with it. Hopefully um, learn some animation and that kind of stuff with Blender. But certainly it is very helpful with these morphing assets. Okay, that'll do it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a couple comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this, about Blender. And until next time, have a wonderful day.